Yeah, man, there's, uh, there's some good stuff. And you can add more controller lanes in if you like. You know, just do, oops, add controller lane, click that button, and you've got another controller lane. And uh, that can be for your velocity, so you can see the velocity of the note. I could make the note louder by just getting a pencil and just drawing it louder. And I've got this. So, think about it by using a combination of the quantize, and uh, when you're drawing in controllers, like I said, I tend to leave this on 128 because then I get these fine little steps, yeah? Otherwise, if this is set to something like 16th, I'll get stupid 16th steps which, which just don't have enough smooth resolution. Look, it's more steppy, yeah? And if I was to choose eighths, I mean, you know, watch, hang on. Yeah. So, it's... Uh, Cool stuff, huh? I mean, that is just that's, that's that's really good stuff. Let me put in that. I love that gating thing, so I'm going to put that back in. Where are we? Square. I'll just show you the parabola after this, and then we'll end. Here we go. That's what you've got. If I show the VST instrument, here's the master volume pulsing up and down, and there's the filter sweeping up with each cycle. Cool. Okay, so let me... Do I need to rub the... Yeah, I'm going to rub the filter out completely because I'm going to put in use the parabola just to show you what the parabola does. Yeah, the parabola... I'm going to close this bottom controller lane by hitting this negative symbol here. That's removed it. I'm going to drag this up so I've got more space in the bottom. So this is gating the volume on and off. This controller lane, which is set to main volume, yeah? And with the parabola tool, I can draw a curve, and it, it snaps to the quantize, which is eighths at the moment, like that. So I can draw a curve going up like that. If I want the curve to be the opposite direction, hold down control and click it again and just sort of drag it like that, and it'll snap the other way. Hit control again, and it'll do the other direction. It's a bit sticky and fiddly, that, but I could do a curve either curving all the way up across the whole bar or just to halfway in the bar, like that. And then if I put the parabola here again, and I can draw a curve down, but it's a convexed curve. If I want it to be concave, just hold down control and just give it a little drag like that, and it'll become concave. And I've got a filter sweep going up and down like that, as well as the pulsing volume, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Are you starting to see the things that you can do? If you combine this this with drum loops and stuff, yeah, I'm telling you, it's. Uh, you might. Uh, I wonder if I can do this actually. I've never tried this with Cubase because I mainly use Logic, but if I highlight all those controllers using the arrow tool so they all go black, I wonder if I can drag the whole lot. Oh, I can. Hey, cool. <laughs> cool. So you could put the peak, you know, you can manually draw it in where you want it to be to fit with your drum beat, but obviously you can drag these around as well. Now imagine that with a you know jung jungly drum beat. Yeah, whatever. I mean, you know. All right, so I'll take this control. Oh, I'll rub that data out. I think we're coming to the end of this one now. I'll rub all this controller data out. <coughs> Whoops. Highlight the whole lot. So click it, and it goes off. Turn off this controller lane. Just got the one controller lane now. Set this to velocity. And there we are. I mean, I've come, this is now 40, 50 minutes long, this video. I could be able to trim it down a little bit, but this is going to be a long one. I'm just hoping I've covered everything. Um, snapping of notes. Oh, yeah. Just one last little thing, which I'll just get in quickly. Let me just uh, set the, quanti the length quantized to 16 Drag this note back, and it snaps to 16 remember. You've got the... Um, Oh, what the hell was it called? The uh, um, nudge nudge palette, which of course, by right clicking in this grey frame, you can show or hide. Yeah, the nudge palette, same thing as on the main page. It will kick the note in either direction, and that's set to the quantize, which is at the moment eights. You can extend the rear of the note, and that uh, the uh, the resolution is set by the length quantize, which is sixteen. So as I kick it out, it increases in sixteenths and decreases in sixteenths. I can kick the front out, but that works in eights. And the reason it works in eights is because that's the start time of the note, which is set to a quantize of eighths. Okay? 
Um, and lastly, you can set the length quantize to quantize length, in which case if I choose sixteenths here um, for the input of notes and get the pencil tool, it'll put a note in on a sixteenth and it'll be a sixteenth in length. Yeah. If I choose eighths, let me just rub these out and draw in some notes, they'll snap to an eighth and they'll be an eighth in length. It just basically, the length locks to the quantize, yeah? But I like to have that off most of the time. Um, is there anything else? 